Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. In this second part of the video series, I will show you how to do UV unwrapping of this Judge Mallet 3D model in Autodesk Maya. If you haven't seen the first part, I will recommend you to watch that video, where I have shown how to do 3D modeling of this model in Autodesk Maya. You will find the link of the video in the description below. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here in Maya, I will do UV unwrapping of this model. Hide the visibility of the layer. Drag and select all these models, right click on the layer, click on add selected objects. Select this model. Go to UV. And select UV editor. Go to UV, and select planar mapping option box. I will do the mapping from the top. Choose Y axis and apply. This will create the mapping from the top. Go to edge mode. Double click on this edge to select the edge loop. Place your cursor to the UV editor. Hold shift and right click and select cut. This will cut the UV edges. Place your cursor to the UV editor. Right click and select UV mode. Double click on the middle UV to select this UV group. Hold shift and right click, select unfold, again select unfold. Press W on your keyboard for move tool, and move up. Double click on this UVs, hold shift and right click, select unfold, again select unfold. Zoom out by scrolling down, drag and select all these UVs, hold shift and right click, select layout, then layout UVs. Turn on the checker box. Go to Object Mode. It seems that the UVs are not properly unwrapped. Turn off the checker box. Select the model. Go to Edge Mode. Double click on this edge. Place the cursor to the UV editor. Hold Shift, right click and cut. Go to UV Mode. Double click on these UVs and move up. Then unfold the UVs. Then go to face mode, and double click on this face to select the whole face. Go to UV, and select planar mapping option box. Choose Z axis, and click on apply. Go to edge mode. Select one edge loop by double clicking. Go to UV editor and cut. Go to UV mode. Double click on these UVs, and unfold them. Press E on your keyboard for rotation tool, and rotate these UVs like this. Drag and select all these UVs, hold shift and right click, select layout and layout UVs. Go to edge mode, select this edge, hold shift and right click, select move and sew edges. Again select this edge and sew edges. Turn on the checker box. Still the UVs are not unwrapped properly. Select these UVs by double clicking. Rotate it like this. The checkers must be squares, not rectangles. So go to face mode and select this whole face by double clicking. Go to UV, and select cylindrical mapping. Go to UV mode. Double click on these UVs, hold shift and right click, go to unfold, then unfold along V. Then again hold shift and right click, go to unfold, then unfold along you. Perfect, now the checkers are looking good. Drag and select all these UVs, hold shift and right click, select layout, then layout UV. Go to object mode. It is looking good. Turn off the checker box and minimize the UV editor. Turn on the visibility of the layer. 
Right-click on the layer and click on Empty the layer. Then select this model. Right-click on the layer and click on Add Selected Objects. Turn off the visibility of the layer. Select this part. Click this button to isolate this part only. Maximize the UV editor. Go to UV and select Planar Mapping option box. Choose Y axis and click on Apply. Go to Edge Mode. Double click on this edge. Hold Shift and double click on this edge. Go to UV Editor and Cut. Turn off the Isolation button. Double click on this middle edge. Hold Control on your keyboard and drag to deselect these edges. And these edges too. Make sure no extra edges are selected. Go to UV Editor and Cut. Go to UV Mode and double click on these UVs, then unfold them. Press E on your keyboard and rotate it like this. Press W on your keyboard and move it up. Go to Object Mode. Turn on the checker box. Isolate this object. It is looking good. Turn off the checker box. Go to Face Mode, drag and select these faces. I will do the mapping from X axis. So go to UV, select Planar Mapping Option box. Choose X axis and click on Apply. Go to UV Mode, double click on this UV and unfold them. Press W on your keyboard and move it aside. Then double click on this UV and unfold them. Drag and select all the UVs, hold Shift and right click and lay out them. Turn on the checker box. Go to Object Mode. It is looking good. Turn off the Isolation button and select this part. And turn on the Isolation again. I will do the mapping from Z axis. So go to UV. Select Planar Mapping option box. Choose Z axis and click on Apply. Go to Edge Mode. Turn off the checker box. Double click on this edge. Hold Shift and double click on this edge. And this edge as well. Go to UV Editor and Cut. Go to UV Mode. Double click on this UV and unfold them. Press E on your keyboard and rotate it like this. Hold Shift and right click. Go to Straighten, then Straighten UVs. Hold Shift and right click. Go to Layout, then Layout UVs. Turn on the checker box. It is looking good. Go to Object Mode. Turn off the checker box and turn off the isolation button. Now let's do the handle portion. Select this part and isolate it. I will do the mapping from the top. So go to UV and select Planar Mapping Option box. Choose Y axis and click on Apply. Go to Edge Mode. Double click on this edge. Go to UV Editor and Cut. Go to UV Mode. Double click on the UVs and unfold them. Press E on your keyboard and rotate it like this. Hold Shift and right click. Go to Layout, then Layout UVs. Turn on the checker box. Go to Object Mode and turn off the Isolation button. Minimize the UV Editor. Turn on the visibility of the layer. Drag and select all these models, hold right-click, and select Assign New Material. You can choose any material of your choice, I will choose Lambert. Go to Attribute Editor. Go to Edit, select Delete All by Type, and then History. 
Select Lambert 2, click on this color checker box, select file, and choose the number texture. You can find this kind of texture in the internet. Just search for UV number texture. Press 6 on your keyboard to see the texture. Click on place 2D texture 1, change the value of repeat UV somewhere around 5. Or maybe 2. Perfect. Open UV Editor, drag and select all these models. Go to UV Mode, drag and select all the UVs. Hold Shift and right click. Go to Layout, then Layout UVs. Go to Object Mode. Turn off the checker box and check whether there is any problem. Adjust the tiling of the UV texture to see it more clearly. So go to Lambert 2 and click here. Then change the repeat UV values to 5. It is looking good. The UV unwrapping part is now completed. In the next part of the video series, you will learn about how to do the texture of the model. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comment section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.